So what actually is OAuth? If you've wondered this, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, we'll cover what OAuth actually is and the problems it helps to solve. OAuth is probably something you've encountered as a user on the internet, but there still is often confusion on the subject. OAuth isn't an API or a particular technology even. For apps to be listed on the Shopify app store, it's required they go through an OAuth flow during the install process. And problems with the OAuth flow is one of the top reasons apps fail the app store review process. So let's get into the details and take a look at what OAuth actually is. OAuth 2.0 is an authorization protocol or framework that enables a third-party application to obtain limited access to an HTTP service. That's right. The auth in OAuth stands for authorization, not authentication. So before we go any further, let's make sure we have those definitions correct. Authorization is the process of giving permission or authority. Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of the user. For Shopify apps, an OAuth flow is used so merchants can authorize or give permission to Shopify apps to access the merchant's data, like order or product information. Merchants would select to install a Shopify app. The merchant would be taken to a page where they would give the app limited access to their data. And in exchange, the app would get a secure way to access that data. This is the process of the OAuth flow. Another common example of OAuth out in the world is when you use an external account, like your Google account or GitHub, to log into another service. You may be wondering, why is this OAuth process even necessary? Especially for Shopify apps. Let's take a look at some of the problems OAuth solves. In the past, if a third party wanted access to your data, they would log in with your credentials. Imagine to have installed a Shopify app. You had to provide the email and password you use to log into the Shopify admin. This creates some limitations. First, the third party would need to store the credentials for future use, the username and password. This creates some security concerns in case that third party's data is ever breached. Second, the third party or app would have overly broad access. The app may not only need product information to function, but would have access to everything, including financial information and customers' personal information. Third, you wouldn't be able to revoke one third party service or app's credentials without having to revoke everyone's credentials, including your own. So that means uninstalling one Shopify app would mean reauthorizing every other one. So let's walk through the general OAuth process and then we can see how it helps to solve those limitations. The client is the third party app or service that is requesting access to the data. In the example of Shopify, this is the Shopify app. The resource owner is the person or entity that's capable of granting the access. This would be the Shopify merchant. The resource server will be the server hosting the protected data and information. This is Shopify server. The OAuth flow goes like this. Step one, the client will request authorization from the resource owner. If the resource owner accepts, the client will receive an authorization grant. This is a temporary credential representing the authorization. The client will then request an access token by authenticating with the resource server and presenting the authorization grant. The server will authenticate the client and validate the grant and then issue and return an access token. Now the client or the app can request protected resources and data from the resource server. The resource server would validate the access token and return the protected resource. Now let's think back to our original problems. Our first limitation without OAuth was that the third party would need to store the resource owner's credentials. By the design of OAuth, the client will store a unique access token to them. There's no exchange of passwords here. The second limitation 
would be the third party or service would gain an overly broad access by using the same credentials as the resource owner. With OAuth, the resource owner can grant finer grain permissions tied to the access token. This means the client or app only has access to what it needs. Problem three was if the resource owner needed to revoke access to one third party, they would need to revoke access to all of them because they're all using the same credentials. Now, each third party client or app has its own unique access token. The resource owner can revoke one client's access without affecting any others. Now, to bring this all back together, OAuth is a process that allows users to authorize third parties or apps access to their data. Because OAuth exchanges unique access tokens instead of usernames and passwords, it allows for finer grain permissions and better security. For more information on the Shopify app OAuth process, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the documentation linked in the description. To become a Shopify developer, create an account on shopify.com partners. Join the Shopify Devs Discord server to meet fellow developers, ask questions, and connect. Happy building!